think that when you become a part of the treatment team for a patient or a young child or an older child with oncology diseases, you become a part of their family. Probably a part of their family they never wanted to be a part of, but you're still a part of their family. They come to support you, they expect you, or they expect your guidance and they appreciate your guidance on things. And you're often the first person to look to because you've told them to call you with anything throughout their treatment. I always tell my patients that there's nothing too small to call for. If you stub your toe, I want to know about it. Even if I'm not going to do anything because it's a minor ailment, I want to hear about it. And so then they come to look at you as their guide, especially in the medical system. And so for that family, I had become such a part of their lives over the last two years that they just wanted my guidance and mine and Dr. LaBelle's support. We were unable to guide them because the diagnosis was not one of our expertise, but we were able to be there and support them at the bedside and help translate medical jargon for them and help them understand what was going on and just allow them to feel our presence and allow them to feel comfortable because they were in a new hospital that they'd never been in. And they were also in an emotional place at the same campus as where they had lost their other son and grandchild. So I think that we were just there to provide them with emotional support and let them know that they were there, that we still always thought about them. We never stopped thinking about the patients that we've cared for. And we are always there if they need to reach out for anything and we will do everything in our power when we can to help.